بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم in this lecture I will talk about bleeding disorders hemostasis mean the process of maintenance of uh, hemostasis mean arrest of a bleeding when there is any vascular injury this process required the function of platelets clotting factor and vascular elements immediately after injury to the blood vessels there will be vasospasm which is the immediate response of the blood vessels and to reduce the bleeding which occur immediately after injury later on there will be accumulation of platelets at the site of injury as you can see here by process of platelet aggregation mean attachment of platelet to each other platelet adhesion attachment of platelet to the subendothelial tissue to form primary platelet plug which is a weak plug to prevent bleeding later on this weak plug is reinforced by network of fibrin which is a function of clotting factor activation of clotting system occur in two pathway intrinsic pathway which include the factor 12 factor 11 factor 9 and factor uh, 8 these are the main factor in the intrinsic pathway or by extrinsic factor uh, extrinsic pathway uh, which initiated by tissue injury and lead to activation of factor 7 the common pathway include activation of factor 10 then forming conversion of prothrombin to thrombin the presence of factor 5 and calcium then formation of the uh, fibrin by uh, conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin under the effect of thrombin and then stabilization of the fibrin by uh, factor 13. On other hand, when there is activation of a clotting system to prevent disseminated thrombosis, unlimited thrombosis, there is a balance mechanism called fibrinolytic system uh, to maintain the thrombosis at the site of the injury. Also, uh, excess activated in clotting factor clear by the liver again to maintain the level of thrombosis at the site of the injury. The cause of a bleeding tendency can be classified into three major causes either defect in the platelets, defect in the clotting factor, or problem in the blood vessels. Platelet disorder either result from reduction in the number of platelet called thrombocytopenia or defect in the function of the platelet, normal number but defect in the function. Thrombocytopenia might result from inadequate production of the platelet from the bone marrow because of leukemia or because of a plastic anion. Or Thrombocytopenia might result from peripheral destruction or consumption of platelet as in case of ITP, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, which is an autoimmune disease characterized by formation of autoantibody which caused the platelet to be destroyed in the uh, spleen by the macrophage. Or in case of DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, there will be a disseminated con coagulation, coagulopathy, and lead to consumption of platelet and reduction of platelet. This condition occurred, for example, after uh, snake bite or after severe septicemia. On other hand, <coughs> platelet number might be normal, but there is fun dysfunction of the platelets, as in von Willebrand disease, which is inherited disorder of von Willebrand factor, uh, although there is deficiency of clotting factor, but this factor important for the 
function of the platelet for attachment of the platelet to the endothelial tissue so phonogram factor result in problem in uh, platelet rather than clotting factor disorder and the patient is present with superficial bleeding uh, another inherited condition uh, is Bernal Soler also there is defect in the function of platelet or this function of platelets might result from uh, acquired causes for example use of uh, aspirin and in uremia uh, in this condition also there is dysfunction of the platelet and uh, susceptibility of patient for bleeding tendency in spite of normal platelet count that's why we have to stop platelet uh, before uh, any uh, surgical process for at least for five to seven days before the process disorder of a clotting factor again can be classified in hereditary disorder like hemophilia a mean deficiency of factor 8 or hemophilia b deficiency of factor 9 or acquired disorder which occur in for example a chronic liver disease where there is defect in the synthesis of clotting factor uh, factor uh, 10 uh, 9 uh, 7 and 2 uh, these are synthesized by the liver and require vitamin k that's why called vitamin k dependent clotting factor or <coughs> disorder might result from uh, disorder of platelet of the clotting factor might result from the use of uh, anticoagulant in form of oral anticoagulant or heparin these are acquired disorder of clotting system <coughs> disorder of the vascular system again might be hereditary for example hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia where there is a uh, formation of uh, capillaries in abnormal site like of a wide uh, network of capillaries present for example in the lips or in the GIT or in the lung and lead to uh, bleeding tendency or vascular disorder might result from acquired uh, disorder uh, as for example in vasculitis and rarely vitamin C deficiency in vasculitis also there is a bleeding from the uh, uh, capillaries in skin or in the mucous membrane and lead to bleeding tendency now or uh, called epistaxis bleeding from the gums uh, bleeding from the skin and the subcutaneous bleeding form of purpura or ecchymosis bleeding into internal organ in form of GI bleeding or urinary tract bleeding uh, and uh, serious bleeding in the brain called intracranial which is a fatal complication intracranial bleeding or patient may bleed to the deep tissue in form of joint bleeding or retroperitoneal hematoma in case of uh, clotting factor disorder or the patient might be asymptomatic and bleed after exposure to bleeding uh, hemostasis challenge for example after trauma or after surgery in case of subclinical bleeding, the patient present with the bleeding after surgery or after trauma. So the bleeding site depend on the and severity depend on the underlying cause and severity of the condition. These are example of bleeding manifestation in patients with a bleeding tendency. Here we can see the uh, pinpoint bleeding, which occur in uh, ITP or in vasculitis. Here we can see diffuse bleeding called bruising, here called petechia or purpura, here called bruising or ecchymosis. There is diffuse bleeding under the skin. Here we can see petechial hemorrhage inside the mouth, the lips, or in the soft palate. Uh, in more severe case, we can see hemorrhagic bully inside the mouth. This indicates bleeding tendency, or patient may present with bleeding uh, from the gums for diagnosis of bleeding disorder first start uh, approach by the history which might be helpful in the 
diagnose of the cause of bleeding. In the history, the site of bleeding is very important. Superficial bleeding, it means bleeding from the skin or from mucous membrane, for example, if it's bleeding from the gums, usually occur with dysfunction or disorder of platelets. Platelet disorder, whether reduction in the number or defect in the function, usually cause superficial bleeding. While disorder of a clotting factor, for example, hemophilia, uh, in this condition, the patient present with deep bleeding, for example, hemoarthrosis or retroperitoneal hematoma. The onset of bleeding from the time of injury also important in the diagnosis of the cause. Immediate bleeding after injury usually occur with a platelet disorder because as we said the uh, initial response to the injury or formation of platelet plug. So defect in the platelet result in immediate bleeding after uh, injury. While clotting factor disorder uh, cause bleeding after a time interval from the site of the injury from, from the in time of the injury followed by prolonged bleeding for example patient with hemophilia so after tooth extraction if the patient start bleeding from the time of the extraction and continue forward this goes most likely with the platelet disorder while the patient might if the patient present after hour from the tooth extraction initially has no bleeding but after hour this is more in favor of uh, clotting factor disorder in the history also medical history is important we have to ask about the history of liver disease renal disease because as we said this disease predispose the patient for uh, bleeding tendency the drug history history of anticoagulant history of non steroidal so you have to take uh, this history uh, from any patient uh, who uh, is exposed to tooth extraction family is also important to assess the uh, cause of the bleeding laboratory investigation for patient with bleeding tendency include two major investigation complete blood count and bleeding profile a bleeding profile include the bleeding time, prothrombin time, PT, and partial thromboplastin time. These are the major bleeding profile. In complete blood count, <coughs> we look for the uh, platelet count, which help helpful in the diagnosis of patient with thrombocytopenia. So, if we find low platelet count, this goes with uh, thrombocytopenia, whether it's idiopathic or due to bone marrow disorder. Or if you find, for example, blast cell in the bone in the blood film, this goes with leukemia. A bleeding profile, each one give clue to the underlying cause. A bleeding time, prolonged bleeding time, uh, mean defect in the platelet because it tests the bleeding time, tests the function of platelet. So prolonged bleeding time mean there is problem with the platelet, whether in the number or in the function. Prolonged prothrombin time occur in patient with defect uh, in the clotting factor that involve in the extrinsic pathway mean factor 7 or in patient on oral anticoagulant like warfarin while prolonged partial thromboplastin time called activated partial thromboplastin time PTT occur in patient with uh, hereditary hemophilia or in patient on heparin therapy so each type of bleeding tendency uh, give us a clue to the underlying cause few words about itp itp as we said is an autoimmune antibody uh, characterized by formation of antibodies caught the attack the platelet caught the platelet and then uh, this coated platelet identified by the macrophage in the spleen and destroy them this result in the low platelet count and increased bleeding tendency. And the patient, as we say, platelet, patient with the platelet disorder present with superficial bleeding, meaning bleeding from the uh, skin and mucous membrane. Earlierly in severe cases, the patient might develop intracranial bleeding. Diagnosis of ITP, of course, need complete blood count, where we can find a very low platelet count, sometimes even below 0.5. 
10,000 plus normal other element this to exclude leukemia or other cause treatment of ITP is by corticosteroid as first line therapy and then in resistant cases on frequent relapsing cases by splenectomy or immunosuppressive drug or biological drug vulnerable brain disease and inherited clotting factor disorder in this condition there is deficiency of vulnerable brain factor which is inherited as autosomal dominant disease vulnerable brain factor as we said is important in the binding of platelet to the subendothelial tissue to form platelet plug so deficiency of this factor result in dysfunction of the platelets rather than disorder of the clotting system rather than defect in the clotting uh, fibrin clot uh, and in patient with vulnerable brain disease usually present with superficial bleeding because there is defect in platelet like ITP and mean bleeding from the gum or uh, from the skin female might present with menorrhagia excessive uh, menses or in in mild cases patient might be asymptomatic but develop bleeding after any surgical injury or after trauma so we have to uh, take family history um, of bleeding tendency in any patient uh, with uh, who is exposed to surgery family history and past history of bleeding tendency to exclude this disorder few words about uh, pattern of inheritance as we said vulnerable brand inherited in autosomal pattern while hemophilia inherited as x-linked what we mean by autosomal and x-linked as you know uh, the karyotype normal karyotype of a human being is composed of uh, 23 pair of chromosome uh, 22 pair called autosome chromosome and one pair called sex chromosome which, which include XY chromosome in male and XX chromosome in female uh, autosomal disease uh, is carried by defect in the gene present on the uh, autosome chromosome while sex linked chromosome created by gene present in the X chromosome so in male because there is single X chromosome so any uh, X linked chromo disease is usually manifested in the male because defect in any chrom in single chromosome result in deficiency of that protein for example one uh, for example factor 8 while in female because there is uh, there are two copies of X chromosome so inherited disorder usually affect one X chromosome so where there is abnormality in the one X chromosome other healthy X chromosome can compensate for this deficiency for example deficiency of factor 8 in hemophilia is compensated by other healthy chromosome so in X linked chromosome usually the female it, uh, are carriers, carriers for the disease not uh, manifest the disease while the male usually manifests the disease diagnosis of Wolbrand disease uh, is by uh, finding a prolonged bleeding time and we send the patient for a bleeding profile in such patient we have a prolonged bleeding time because there is defect in the platelet and prolonged PTT Treatment, of course, by replacement of patient with von Willebrand factor, uh, usually in, uh, present in combination with factor 8 constraint, or by other drug like desmoprosine, which is stimulate release of von Willebrand factor into plasma. Uh, and in, uh, in case of not availability of these uh, substances like factor 8 constraint, we can treat the patient with the cryoprostate or fresh frozen plasma uh, as uh, any uh, alternative treatment. Hemophilia, another important X linked hereditary disorder of a clotting factor, characterized by deficiency of factor 8, a classical type of hemophilia or called hemophilia A. So, 
other type called hemophilia B in which there is deficiency of factor 9. Roughly, a clinical presentation in hemophilia A or hemophilia B is similar. Patient presented with bleeding in to deep tissue, most commonly in the joint or uh, deep tissue in the uh, retroperitoneal bleeding, for example. As we said, because the disease is X-linked, usually the disease is manifested in male and female only carry the chromosome for the offspring. A clinical presentation, most common presentation of hemophilia or hemoarthrosis, as we said, uh, or bleeding uh, after surgical process uh, or after uh, trauma. Diagnosis by prolongation, finding of prolonged PTT, and for definite diagnosis, we have to assess the level of factor 8 uh, and factor 9. Usually, there is severe deficiency of factor 8. Uh, as we said in male, the level is reduced below 5%. This is the classical presentation of patient with hemophilia, uh, recurrent joint bleeding. As you can see, there is swelling of the right knee joint because of hemoarthrosis, bleeding inside the knee joint. Treatment of hemophilia is by replacement of factor 8. Uh, there is uh, available uh, vial of factor 8 constraint, which contain factor 8, and so you have to replace the patient with the factor 8. Each unit uh, of the factor uh, elevate the level of factor 8 by about 2%. So, according to the type of bleeding, severity of bleeding, we elevate the, uh, we decide the percentage of the uh, required factor 8 replacement. For example, in patients with mild joint bleeding, we have to elevate the level uh, to 30%. Because, as we said, patient who present with bleeding tendency in hemophilia, the level is almost below 5%, so uh, elevate the level to 30%. In patients with major joint bleeding or minor surgery, elevate the level to 50%, while those with major surgery or intracranial bleeding, serious bleeding, we have to elevate the level to 100%. Uh, after the first dose, we calculate the dose, as we said, the dose calculated by uh, this equation, each two unit. Uh, elevate the level by 2%. So multiply the percent with the body weight to calculate the total dose of factor uh, 8 required for this patient. Uh, after the initial dose, we give the half of the calculated dose every 2 hours for 7 to 10 days after major surgery or life threatening hemorrhage to prevent recurrence of bleeding. There are, other, there are other lines of treatment in case of uh, unavailability of factor 8 constraint, including desmoprosin, which will, as we said, increase uh, release of factor 8, or uh, amino acid cyclocaprone, uh, or cryoprecipitate, uh, uh, which are uh, blood products that contain high concentration of uh, factor 8. But these are alternatives. They best treatment over factor 8 replacement okay uh, by this slide i finished my lecture about hemophilia and uh, other bleeding tendency and if you have any question you can contact me on the telegram thank you